Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking Below Deck Med. We're on Season 7, Episode 15, Brace for Impact. Just like I mention every week, I watch these on Peacock. It may be a, a week ahead of where you're at, so if you're not quite on this episode, check out my last week's recap. Otherwise, welcome. I'm glad you're here. What are our thoughts? I'm getting a lot of interesting comments. Um... I think most of us are just not super into this season. I'm enjoying it okay. It's fine. It kind of scratches my below deck itch, but nothing too exciting happening. Um, Same drama between Kyle and Natalia mainly, and Natasha refuses to lead or, I don't know, delegate or handle things or (laughs) address things because she hates confrontation. Weird quality to have in the leader, just saying. Um, it's okay though. I'm not trying to shit on it and we'll talk about it, but I'm going to say this season's just okay. It started out like on fire. I loved it. I thought the Natasha, uh, which is, I never remember the chef, Dave, uh, (laughs) Natasha Dave stuff was real interesting, but then it's just kind of fizzled out. Um, I had a lot of you in the comments saying that you don't care for Storm. I totally get it. I don't dislike Storm, but I get what you're saying. He's not the best leader. I don't know. I I don't know why I don't feel as strongly about Storm. He's okay. I don't know. I kind of feel that way about the whole deck team, truthfully. They're okay. I like Z. I like Courtney. You know, um, this Reed guy seems like a pain in the ass. You know what I think about with Reed? Go with me on this journey. If you ever watch Real Housewives in New York... Oh, God, what was her name? Aviva was married to that sniveling guy named Reed, and that's all I think of. This guy kind of reminds me of that guy, but I don't know. Um, There's a Gimp party going on. The main, or the primary guy is a real creep, right? They really focused on that this episode, and he really did give me the creeps. He was such a whiny bitch, too. He was like, oh, how come she got more hollandaise sauce than me? You'd think because I was paying more, I'd get more. It's like, dude, you don't have to be a little bitch about things. Just politely ask, you know, one of the servers or whatever, the one of the stews, hey, can I get a little side dish of hollandaise? I'm sure Dave's got more or he'll make some or whatever. Hell, I can make that, you know. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying mine's as good as Dave's. I'm saying, like, it's not a, it's not the worst request in the war- world. It's not the hardest request. He can ask that. Dave will sort him out. And then he doesn't have to be a little bitch about things. Just say. Um, what else is going on? They really made it seem like this episode, the jet ski crash, was going to be like, oh, no. Somebody crashed into the boat. And what's funny is in the previews, they just show her crashing into the, what is that thing called? I know it's not the passerelle. What is it? The floating dock thing. They showed her crashing into that. But that really wasn't a big deal at all. It was that the other lady crashed into the boat. But nothing actually happened. Nobody was hurt. Nothing was damaged, neither jet ski nor boat. And even Captain Sandy, who's, you know, captain by the book, um, didn't feel the need for an incident report. So, cool. Nothing, (laughs) nothing going on there. It was kind of a nothing episode. I'm not trying to be negative about it. Again, I enjoyed it. I'll talk about it with you. But there really wasn't a whole lot going on besides lead guy being creepy. Reed made Courtney cry, which we'll talk about. Um, I'd say they played bumper cards with the jet ski. I thought it was funny that the girl's instinct was to drive into the boat rather than away from the boat. But there's not, there's no there there. You know what I mean? (laughs) Um, On a side note, if you're interested in Real Housewives of Potomac, I just recorded that. This will probably go up on Tuesday, so check out Monday's video, Potomac. I had a lot of fun talking that. Even if you don't watch, um, listen to that because uh, I skipped last year, so I'm glad to be back into that. What else is going on? Guys, are you still watching? Are we watching the show? What are your thoughts on it? Did you enjoy it? Are you bored? Am I bored? I don't know. Should we stick with it? I just... Not a lot of views on this one. I think in general viewership is down. I read online comments and 
people aren't overly thrilled with the season and I get it. It just sucks because they had the makings of a really good season. And like in this episode, you got Kyle apologizing to Natalia, but then immediately they're back at it again. Natasha sucks because again, she's the leader. She's supposed to help, I don't know, sort this out or encourage them to sort it out. She couldn't be bothered. She's just like, oh, they're brother and sister. They'll figure it out. No, get involved. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Stop playing favorites with Kyle. And I, again, I'm not even the biggest Natalia fan. I get why she would be annoying to work with. But I'm really not into Natasha and Kyle. I feel like they, you know, they clearly have a friendship. They don't like that Natalia is there. They don't, I don't know. It's a whole thing. They all seem insecure, if you ask me. But I think uh, Natasha just is immature. She lacks leadership skills and is more focused on her boyfriend. <laughs> Can't possibly be alone for five seconds. Needs to have a boyfriend, even if it's a shitty relationship where somebody's like mean texting you. So let's talk about the Courtney. And I always want to call him Neil, and I know that's not right. Reed. Let's talk about the Courtney and Reed of it all. So Courtney is the first to get out there and twerk. Let's say this. I didn't think what Neil said w in theory was not that bad, except for his delivery sucks. He could have made a silly joke, which I think he was trying to do, but instead he drug it out and he defined narcissism. There is no way you're going to win that battle. It struck a chord with Cur Courtney. She clearly got upset and I actually felt for Courtney. I do think she overreacted, but I understand Courtney. I understand why that would be a nerve. You know, she said she's sensitive too. And so when he struck it, it, she reacted like that. So I don't fault her for that, but I don't know. I think they just made it into a bigger storyline because they had nothing. This episode is what I truly think. So it got resolved at dinner. I just think, um, Cannot keep it by straight name straight. Um, freaking Reed, not Neil. I think I called him Neil last week too. Reed. I think he's just. I don't know. I'm Southern. We call him like a goober. He's a goober, right? Like he's goofy. He's weird. He's different. He has a different personality. Now he's going in saying it's because this group already had connections, and that's probably true. But I don't at least on parent appearance sake, I don't think that's it. I don't think that, I think they're willing to accept him. They won't be as close to him, but they're fine with him. But then he had to go make a dumb joke and make it awkward. So <laughs> I think he only has himself to blame for that. But I think that Courtney, she did overreact, but I understand why she handled it well. It's fine. It's just a nothing burger. What are we doing? What are we talking about? Um... <laughs> Oh, can we talk about that salt fish? They made a big deal about the salt fish. They wanted to be wowed. Dave wowed him. I don't eat fish. I thought it looked disgusting. But hey, listen, if you want to eat that, go for it. <laughs> I understand what Dave was trying to do. It was the wow factor. But as he pointed out, nobody was looking when he lit it on fire and cracked it open. So, hmm, that sucks. Um, guests get off the boat. They go out to dinner. And this is basically how the episode wraps up. They start out okay, but then all of a sudden they're not okay. Kyle is still having a go at Natalia, but she also has goes at him. So it's not just him, but at this dinner it was him. It's like he's already drunk or something and he's being aggressive. He had told her that he wanted to apologize on his own, but then at this dinner it comes up that no, Sandy actually stepped in and encouraged him to apologize. And I think that hurt Natalia is what I got from it. Um, she, her point is, let's talk about it tomorrow. She, I think she handled it well. It's like the storm thing. Why do we have to do this at dinner on our night off? Can we just talk about it tomorrow? But Kyle had to be a brat about it and say, you'll get nothing else from me. You're doing this for attention. She didn't do anything. Again, it's not that I'm a fan of Natalia. She's, she's just as annoying as the rest of them. But I actually agree. She didn't do anything in this case. She was listening 
and found out, you know, Captain Sandy was the one that kind of got him to apologize. She reacted a little bit. Not even. I don't even know if she reacted. She was just taking it in. And he started being a cranky bastard about it. <laughs> um, everybody tells him this needs to stop. And Natasha, Natasha, not Natasha, Natasha drags him away from the table. And that's it for the episode. We'll see. I'm sure it'll end in another hollow apology they'll end up fighting again i do agree it is like a brother sister fighty fight thing i don't know if there's much substance there they seem to just annoy each other some people do that so but i blame natasha she's not leading she's not doing a good job she just doesn't want confrontation she'd rather just have a miserable existence i guess i don't i don't understand it at all Anyway, guys, let me know if you're still watching the show. I don't know. I'm thinking about jumping back out of it. I just, not many people are watching and it's hard to talk about. It's hard to make this interesting. I'm trying, guys. God, I sound like Natasha whining. I don't mean to. Anyway, it's fine. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Check out my Potomac recap. I got a lot of recaps going on. If you're into um, Beverly Hills, I'm so excited. This week is the starts the three-part reunion so that'll be later in the week i'm also planning to record with the lovely ladies that we love to hate everything podcast we're gonna get down our thoughts about part one of the reunion i can't wait for that guys thanks so much for being here i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you again soon take care bye-bye